All right, so hey, how we doing guys? It's Jovi, I'm back again. Um, so here's a follow up to uh, my latest video where we walked through, um, we looked at the Tezbox wallet, we looked at some of the press releases from the foundation and my role over at iBuyTezos.com, okay? So let's, let's today what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the um, another wallet uh, by Cryptonomic. It's known as the Galian wallet, okay? The versions for this wallet as of July 17th, they work on beta, are for, they, it's supported by Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, okay? So I have a Linux wallet here, alrighty? And I try to set the screen to a certain brightness where the viewers can see how it would work in Linux, but that didn't work out for some reason, okay? So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna show you how it's done here on, the, on, on Mac OS. And it pretty much works the same way for Windows and Linux, okay? You're going to pretty much follow the same steps, all right? So this is just an additional wallet that is um, uh, used, is widely used in the Tezos community, just as much as the Tezbox. Um, it has all the same security audits and, and supports that the Tezbox had, and so it's a trusted wallet, and I like it. I use it from time to time as well. Okay, so let's begin. So this is Mac OS High Sierra. Here's the web page here. Alrighty. You're gonna click on this link. Actually, I already had it kind of ready here. So it's approaching. Alright, cool. Let's open that up. Let's minimize this. All right, cool. Boom. All righty, there we go. Let's go ahead and go into applications. Where is it at? Looks like here it is. Boom. Open that bad boy up. Galian prod product can can't be opened because it because it is from an unidentified developer. <clears throat> no, we're gonna go ahead and okay that. Oh, hold on, what? Open. There we go. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, here we are, guys. Right, I'm going to move this over here. Boom. All right. So, this is the Galleon wallet um, made by Cryptonomic. All righty. So, what we're going to do is we're going to agree to the terms here. You can open an existing wallet or you can create a new wallet, right? So, we're going to create a new wallet for the purposes of this. It wants a very strong type password, okay? Like seriously strong, all right? Or it won't even allow you to open the, or create the uh, create the wallet. So, boom. <laughs> all right, cool, awesome. And it, what it, what, it, what it wants you to do here is create a wallet file within the system, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's call it. T, uh, T, Z, D, whatever, okay? Let's put it on the desktop, alrighty, and let's save. Okay, cool, create wallet, let's go. Boom. Alright, cool, so this is the import fundraiser, so both the Tezbox and the Cryptonomic wallet can import fun fundraiser activation codes, alright, so... Obviously, I'm not creating a, uh, a wallet that requires this, so let's create a new account. Remember this. I'm just going to get my phone here. What you're going to usually do is you're going to write this down. You're going to write all 15 words down, all right, and you're going to put it in a safe place, all right? But give me a second here. All right, cool. For the purposes of this video, just to move this along a little quicker, take a photo of that bad boy. Boom. Okay, cool. All right, so then we hit next here. Boom. All right, so it's asking me for the third word in those columns, all right? So, yeah, inch. The next, okay, this is the ninth word. They want drill. Okay, 14th word is grass. Oops, and the 11th word agent 
Boom. All right. Your Tesla's account seat is backed up. Make sure to keep your seed phrase in a safe place. If you forget your seed phrase, you will not be able to recover your account. We do not store your seed phrase and cannot help you recover it if you lose it. Typical blockchain stuff, right? Anybody who's been dealing with block, uh, you know, Bitcoin or Ethereum and other uh, currencies know this. All right, cool. So, <clears throat> as you can see, it's much like the uh, a very different format than the Tezbox wallet. Nonetheless, you know, here's your manager. Here's the manager address. Okay. So this can be viewed on TZ Scan. I don't think they have a clickable link that would take you directly from the wallet to the uh, Tezos Block Explorer, but that's no biggie. You could just kind of copy this here, copy this here, and you can always navigate to the Tezos Block Explorer, you know. Uh, boom. And view your account there. Mm, paste that bad boy, and I should have zero. And there you go. Let's get back to the wallet. Okay, so settings, let's check it out. So you can basically choose a different node. Um, if, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with this stuff. Okay, basic logout button. Um, you can add a, you can choose a delegate, you can set an account here. Add account, okay. So what's really cool about, about the Galleon wallet is it doesn't give you the option to send until you have something to send. All right, so there you go. And that is the Cryptonomic Wallet. All right, this is a, again, it's a secure, um, long-term supported wallet and uh, good for sending and receiving Tez and also delegating from the wallet itself. All right, so now there's two wallets, Tezbox, right, and Galleon. Tezbox by Stephen Andrews, Galleon by Tezori or Cryptonomic. All righty, so. Now, we know that Tezos has two solid wallets. Um, these both wallets, the Tezbox and the Galleon wallet, are supported on, um, um, support Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, alrighty? The Tezbox has the luxury of having a, kind of like a little cool Chrome extension, along with a web wallet, which I showed you in my previous video, okay? Where Galleon is a pretty much a desktop wallet, but it's across all different. It's across the major three platforms: so Windows, um, Mac OS, and Debian, uh, or in, uh, and Linux. Okay, it works in Ubuntu and Debian nine and all that other good stuff. Okay, so that's two solid wallets for anybody who wants to know how to use it or where to get a a, a solid, secure, um, safe to use Tezos wallet. View these videos, recommend them to other people. All right. The Tezbox and the Galleon wallet, they are good to go, all right? All right, yeah, and so <clears throat> remember, if you're looking to sell large amounts of uh, Tezos, buy or sell large amounts of Tezos, you can do so with us at iBuyTezos.com, all right? You can, um, we support USD, Bitcoin, Ethereum, USD Tether, and a few other uh, cryptocurrency trading pairs. Buy and sell large amounts, all right? It's a fast and easy way to... Uh, to get your Tezos um, into a into a wallet, we'll show you how to create a wallet. We'll we'll walk you through those steps, <clears throat> and also it's an easy way to go liquid if you choose to want to uh, leave your position. Alrighty, so please come and visit us at iBuyTezos.com for all your large purchases of, of of Tezos. All right, and we support these trading pairs. You can use my referral code, Jovi Buy J O V I B U I, and possibly win a free Ledger Nano S. All right, make sure you smash the subscribe button on this YouTube channel. All right, follow me on Twitter at JV Dola, uh, Jovan. Uh, you can find me on Riot uh, with the handle Jovi1945 and on Reddit the handle, um, the handle uh, Jovi1945. So in my next video, just to uh, give you guys a heads up, we're gonna be we're gonna be looking at we're gonna be following a Medium article by Corey Soreff, also known as Tokyo on Rails. He's a community member, um, and we're gonna be looking at how to spin up a node using the Mac. All right, so Mac OS, uh, Mac OS High Sierra, getting started with the Tezos command line client on Betanet. All right, so until then, you guys have a wonderful night. All right, wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. See you guys later. Peace out.